beautiful world of Buddhist inspiration. Lot of fun. Yeah. Lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, you know, about your musical inspirations. How did you guys, you know, kind of pursue the music that you? So uh, I'm uh, a classical singer. I was a classical singer initially uh, for a very long time. Then I met Karthik, and then uh, we were together, and then we started to make music together. And uh, when while I come from a very classical background, he comes from yes, he comes from a completely opposite, uh, and he's on the completely opposite end. I would say he he can uh, you know make a good song from jazz and. Electro and anything, so it was a good combination, hmm. and uh, for me it opened up a beautiful world of world music, and uh, that is when we started to do a lot of original stuff, and we always wanted to make sure that whatever songs that we do has uh, some sort of cultural uh, rootedness, yes. whether it's from India or it's from other country. Right. We have had uh, even European folk. We had disco jazz. So we we want to have fun uh, with uh, with the music that we make. That's I think the lot biggest inspiration. Lot of yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So t tell me, Shob, uh, you have grown up. I was reading, you know, uh, in uh, various uh, nations, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, so I'm sure there's a lot of influence, you know, from different yeah, cultures. Definitely. So how how is it? Uh, I think it's definitely back in the day when we growing up around the world. Um, because of that, my music tends to be, it's harder sort of, I can classify in one genre with my style is. Um, I'd like to think, you know, I, we do a lot of rock, jazz, sort of R&B, you know, soul, Indian classical music, Indian folk music, under the lens of jazz and improvised music. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of rock music and blues, and I studied jazz in college, um, all the same time while listening to a lot of new classical and folk music. So a lot of that sort of, that soup of sort of different styles sort of became into this. Right. Sort of all over the place, similar to the US style yeah. as well. I think with deeply but, yeah, but we, and... it, it's so beautiful that when, when, as you said, it's a soup of culture, right. but everybody makes a soup very differently and it tastes very different. Yeah, and that's where the beauty lies, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And and audience was so receptive, you know? Yeah, they were great. Was... How, how was it performing here in the Very, very surprised that uh, a lot of people turned up at this time. Uh, it's like what 4 p.m. and you have a yeah. full house. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's it's very well marketed, very well promoted. And the best thing that this uh, festival demonstrates is that people want to hear this kind of music, and they want to explore different genres. But the thing is that it doesn't reach them on time. They may not be able to know. Acha, yaha pe hua tha, re kab aake gaye? You know, a lot of times we hear this. Are you up? So I think it's very important for uh, an organizer to promote an event well and that is how that is people will uh, yes. come. Yeah, so I could you know a lot of people watch your videos online. I'm sure they want to know like what's the process like, what's the inspirations like because you were uh, telling us a lot of you know messages behind your music. Yeah. So what is it like? You tell us how what is the process of making music? Process. What what what's the language? What's the message that you want to convey through your tracks? Uh, that's a great question. I uh, I think the process is always different for different songs, and sometimes it's a theme that comes first. Um, like I want to write a song about Delhi and sort of a romantic sort of ballad for the city. Otherwise, it's sort of the music comes first, and then I name it something different. Uh, but I think the messages that I want to convey are sort of the underlying things that inspire me to sort of finish the song. Um, whether it's, you know, about sort of creation or being an artist or, you know, whatever else it may be. I think the central message of the, of the music that I try to write is for it to be just authentic and sort of just be your most authentic self. I think that's sort of what I aim to be myself. Yeah. Um, you know, you sometimes get trapped into certain styles and the genres. And this is jazz, this is not jazz, this is rock, this is not rock. But I think if you sort of just embrace whatever you like from different styles, you're able to create a much more authentic sort of style and, and genre for yourself. Right. And I think that's what I've been sort of trying to sort of uh, live by for, right. for, me, for, you know, it's been a, lo a learning process, a learning curve for me too. Right. But, um, you know, hopefully keep creating in an in a authentic and genuine sort of fashion. Right. And that, you know, and that, what that, uh, the definition of that authenticity also keeps changing over time, so. Nirali, you have a... I would say indigenous spots, right? <laughs> a lot of rooted music. But uh, do you also, you know, get a kind of, uh, I would say, criticism, you know, maybe for contemporizing, so you know, very... wonderful that, uh, in fact, my Guruji often tells me that 
how do you do that? He in, fa he in fact, when I'm singing classical, he wants me to be completely authentic to classical. But when I'm doing fusion, he himself is like, you know, how do you do this? And so that is, I think, what represents a generation of authentic classical, hardcore classical musicians that they they just want to see Indian classical music in some form or the other to reach the younger generation. I remember the there is uh, one singer that I love called Zila Khan. Hmm. She said that uh, oh, she's she is amazing. Yes, yeah. so uh, she heard us in in a crazy YouTube event in which like there was uh, um, you know all the all the teenage rock stars like hmm. Lily Singh and uh, yeah. AIB and all of those and then we presented a song that is based on Lag Bagesh and Zila Khan happened to be at that event hmm. and then she's like oh my god you made these kids hear our music in this way and that is what I think this is, is important that they should fall in their eyes they should fall in their eyes they should fall in their eyes गिरने चाहिए तो तो वो जिंदा रहेंगे नहीं तो फिर वो चले जाएंगे। As you represent youth, you know the new generation of musicians. How do you think music is important to bind people together? Basically, this is the unity and diversity that we actually just saw on stage, and that is, I think, very relevant, you know, right now. I mean, these days. So, how do you think you know music is a tool to bind people together? Um, I think it's extremely important and if more than ever I think in this day and age where you see diversity all around you and festivals like this celebrate the diversity instead of sort of resisting it which is great I think it's extremely necessary today um, as far as sort of Indian music and youth in India are concerned I think music festivals like this give Indian youth to their own unique identity I think um, there's a lot of different influences in India people speak many different languages people um, practice many different uh, beliefs and different things all those things create this sort of amalgamation of different sort of diverse youth and festivals that celebrate uh, diversity really sort of uh, give um, it's really uplifting to see for, for you as an Indian young person um, that you know you can listen to jazz you can listen to metal you can listen to rock you can listen to Indian classical you can listen to fusion um, all the while just being an Indian youth um, and I think that's the representative of India is becoming just a very diverse strong nation I think that's important um, it's a very beautiful thing. Right, right. So before we wrap up, I have to request you know to maybe have a few lines for our audience. I'm gonna let you sing. I'm not a singer. I'll, 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 I wish I'll, I'll you had your guitar. Try my guitar too, but I'm gonna let you. I don't do. I don't know anything. I don't think anyone wants me to do anything vocal related except speak. And even that, maybe. I guitar right now. You know? I know. It's, it's fine. No worries. I'll, I'll let you take over. So uh, this is the song uh, that is based on Rag Mia Malhar and we couldn't sing this, it's one of our most loved songs and I, I can understand like some of the people asked me to sing yes. and I couldn't. So <laughs> I'm like singing more, it here, more. yes. Bundana bundana barse me Kajrari kari badariya Aise nache mora manwa Aise nache mora manwa Jaisi ban me mor papiha Jaisi ban me mor papiha Boondana boondana बरसे में हाँ